I think the fundamental difference that AI workloads have from kind of your more typical workloads we would, we would see in a data center is one of uh, almost reliability on the wire. I mean, we're coming from infrastructure that's typically, typically been kind of InfiniBand based or scheduled across the fabric to trying to drive price down using Ethernet and understanding that Ethernet, in theory, introduces unreliability. So uh, I think when we look at how data centers start to evolve, for one, we're seeing new architectures. We're seeing non-blocking architectures start to appear, whereas data centers typically have always managed contention at the various tiers. The other aspect I think that is interesting, especially in the automation space, is one of the tuning of parameters. So because of how cohesive all of these different components have to work together from the network to the DPU to the GPU to the host, the tuning of all these parameters and the complexity across all the different automation silos is uh, a big part of what we're trying to solve for uh, in EDA. The, uh, the idea that you can just turn on the network, plug a cable in, and everything works in the AI uh, context, unfortunately, isn't a reality. We're having to manage congestion. We're having to manage uh, you know, flow control across that Ethernet fabric. And all this goes down to literally the length of cables, which is very different between different environments when you get in the nitty gritty of tuning. So the complexity that we added to that fabric went through the roof. We introduced a ton of new uh, topologies and designs to try and manage loss across the fabric. And the degree of cohesion we need between the compute, the DPU, and the network, I think are kind of the unique aspects of why AI workloads they have a different set of requirements for, for our infrastructure.